Hey, this is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Today we're going to show you the Alpaca Forager, a tandem pack raft that you can fit into a backpacking pack, bring on a plane, and backpack with anywhere. It weighs about 13 pounds and is designed for two people up to a thousand pounds going on a multi-day trip. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that we love to take epic road trips to awesome and sometimes remote places to kayak and hike, usually in national parks. And this raft that we're about to show you allows us to do the best of both worlds at the same time. The whole reason we got this raft is because it gives us the freedom to paddle when we can't take our sea kayaks on the plane or there aren't any outfitters in the areas where we want to paddle. We had no idea this raft existed until we met a National Park Service ranger who told us how he hiked 10 miles along the Rio Grande with his alpaca raft and then paddled back through Mariscal Canyon back to his vehicle. The ability to hike in and paddle out the remote areas you can't easily get to is what sold us. Take the seating floor and raft out. Connect the valve on the raft with the blue inflation bag, making sure that you turn the valve counterclockwise to the closed position so that the air doesn't escape. You then capture as much air as you can inside the inflation bag, close it tight and roll it down, forcing the air into the raft. Wind helps, but if there's no wind, this process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. When you're done inflating, take off the inflation bag and top off the raft by blowing air directly into the valve with your mouth. Then put the uninflated seating floor into the raft. Zip the seating floor along both sides. Then blow up the seating floor the same way you did the raft. To top the seating floor off, use the tube to blow in the air with your mouth. If you want to put things inside the raft, you can store them via the cargo fly zipper before you blow up the raft. Alpaca actually sells dry bags that fit the shape of your raft. Next we're going to put the raft in the water, which will usually deflate it because of the difference in temperature of the air in the raft and the water. While the raft is in the water, continue to use your inflation bag to top off the raft again. When fully blown up, this raft is a little over 10 feet long by three and a half feet wide. This alpaca forager is self bailing, which means there are holes in the bottom that allow water to drain out while you're paddling. We also chose this model because it has more tie downs. We initially chose to not buy the inflatable seats, but after trying the raft, we intend to get some because we didn't like how low we sat in the raft. What's nice about this raft is that you can turn around and reverse paddle or lounge unlike a canoe or even a tighter fitting sea kayak. To deflate the raft, open the valve and the cargo fly and lay on it until you get most of the air out. Then roll it up to continue to push more air out. At this point, we took the loosely rolled raft home so that we could dry it off and clean it up before packing. To fit it in the bag, make sure you roll the raft and seating floor tightly into thirds lengthwise, removing any remaining air as you go with the valves open. Hope this video helps you on your hiking and paddling adventures. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below, ask us any questions in the comments or any tips you can share with us, and don't forget to subscribe for more epic road trip videos. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.